The second one, feeling tense, anxious, or on edge. We've all had that, you know, where you just, you just feel really, it's, ir it's that irritability component. Three, marked lability of mood, like I was talking about. We're kind of up and down. Um, a frequent tearfulness, you know, because we're all over the place in our emotions. Number four, persistent irritability, anger, and increased interpersonal conflicts. A lot of times we'll start fights with people just because we're irritable, right? Number five, decreased interest in usual activities. So you might withdraw from certain social relationships. You might just want to stay at home and watch reruns of Sex and the City all week. We might want to watch all of our romantic comedies that we have on DVD all week. Um, six, difficulty concentrating. Seven, feeling fatigued or lethargic. Eight, marked changes in appetite. So we might eat more. We, we tend to binge eat and because we'll be craving more foods. A lot of times people will crave salts or sweets. Um, Number nine, hypersomnia or insomnia. So that means you're either sleeping a lot, like I'm sleeping like 15 hours, or insomnia where uh, I went to bed at four and I got up at seven and that's all I needed. Um, Ten, a subjective feeling of being overwhelmed or out of control. 